in the situation where you need to create a criticality or separation factor report for anti-collision purposes, there are two options. First, let's set up a work situation. In this case, we have an as-drilled curve in red and the offset wells are in black. Notice that in this case, the offset wells are going in the opposite direction. However, they're starting from the same pad and there is a point down here at the bottom where they might collide. If I wanted to compare these curves in a report, I would go to reports and out of the two anti-collision reports that I have, the criticality report is the simpler of the two. We'll start with that one. If I select criticality, it will calculate comparison data with all of the curves selected in the drop down menu. On the first page, I see a ladder plot. The ladder plot shows proximity between the reference curve at zero uh, as a function of measured depth versus true minimum distance. On the second page and thereafter, we see a breakdown for curves that are a criticality of four or higher. Notice that I can generate a criticality report which starts at one, one being the safest, five being the most dangerous. I've selected a criticality report that starts at four and has only level four and five proximities. I can select a maximum scanning distance over here. So if I want to reduce this, I can and hit tab and then create report in order to recalculate. The report will show my reference curve versus all of the other curves within the scanning radius. The between centers distance are center to center from the curves. The between ellipses distances show the minimum distance between the edges, the closest edges of each of the ellipses of uncertainty between any two curves. Separation factor is a relatively complicated number that is derived from a number of factors based on the ellipses and the criticality warning breaks everything down from numbers one through five. You will also notice these letters SF, ES, and CC. What this means is if it says SF, it indicates that the survey has the minimum separation factor for the current offset well. ES indicates that the survey has the minimum separation between ellipses for the current offset well, and CC indicates that the survey has the minimum center to center distance for the current offset well. Notice that even if you have the minimum distances, you may still have a level five criticality. The other more involved report pertaining to anti-collision is aptly named the anti-collision report, formerly known as the least distance report. The new anti-collision report in Hawkeye contains comprehensive separation factor data. Notice on page one, again, we have a ladder plot, but starting from page two and onward, we have detailed separation factor based numbers. The report is broken down into a reference well versus an offset well, and they will only treat one well at a time. So as we can see, numbers which may indicate a possible collision are in red, bold, larger, and boxed off. Also, levels of criticality higher than one are highlighted. Explanations for the distances here and the semi-major axes here as well as the proximity number itself are explained in greater detail in the user's manual which can be found at our website.